Hi, welcome to the Roost Garden. Today we're going to pick some tomatoes and we're going to make some fresh salsa. Already made one batch, got four pints. Tell you what, good stuff. So, got uh, Lynn's grandson here, Daniel. He's going to help me out. We're going to pick a few tomatoes. That's Rooster Jr. He's Rooster Jr. Yeah, George. Oh, Rooster Jr. You missed my lineup. Oh, okay. Uh -uh. I'm not picking the tomatoes. What type of tomatoes are these? What type of tomatoes are these? Yeah. Do what? What type of tomatoes are these? Oh, these are the beef steaks we're picking here. And then we got some Amish coles we're going to pick. And then we got an Italian brand tomato over that we're going to get a few of those. It's June 16th. We've already got all these tomatoes. One batch of salsa, another sitting on the table to do salsa. Plus, what we pick here this afternoon, we may end up making two batches of salsa tonight. We have to weigh them up and see. There's quite a few of these, right? Small and big. What about these right here, John? This in here. Yeah, uh, go ahead. It's not soft enough. Yeah, it's okay. They don't really get that red. What well, this one right here? Uh, give it another day. All right. Well, right, this one right here. These two. Okay, you can get that one. I can get both of them. Just that one. You all see all these tomatoes hanging down out here on the ground? That one truck's got all those tomatoes on it. See that? This one, see how this one's small? They, they can go any size. When you make it small, oh, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Depends on how much you want. Oh, let's go down this road. Get some of these Amish coley. That one needs another day. It's still kind of fun. There is one right here. Uh, no, this one's ready. Let me see. Okay, guys, uh, we're still picking tomatoes here, and let's see these tomato plants. We've never grown this variety before, but if he'll turn the camera up. see that they're probably a good I'll say nine ten foot up there so man they just loaded down with tomatoes up and down and we noticed that some of them they don't turn red they're kind of orange and uh, I picked one the other day took it in the house flashed it up it was done it was good I ate it this one right here. Yep. But they're pretty good sized tomatoes. Yeah. They're real thick and meaty, these are. They got a lot of meat in them. That's not ready yet, no good bag. Those what's weird coming out of the same seed pack right there. That's more of an Amish style, you know. Right. That's more shaped like a Roma tomato. Yeah, Roma tomatoes, I think, yeah. They're, they're all the same pack. I've never seen this variety before. Mm -hmm. But Amish people, they they know their vegetables stuff. So we'll go over here to the next row, and these are uh, well, we still got some the uh, Amish coles over on this side. We need to pick and get to on that side. We well, see them better on this side. See them a lot better. Right, see, here's one right here, soft, but they got that yellow mm -hmm. color to it. Yep, but it's yep. soft. And it, I know, and it won't turn red, but. That's that's right. Yeah. Stranger tomatoes, but they are good tasting tomatoes. So we'll go on up the road a little bit and check this out. Make sure we got everything. Okay, looks good. This is the Italian variety that 
Diane sent. There's one down here, right there, though. Well, no, the day don't look out. What I'm saying is, we get inside, halfway soft, you pick them. Check that one. Oh, yeah, yeah. That one's right. That's a good shaped tomato there. Yeah, that's a good tomato right there. That's a real pretty tomato, and they are really good. I've tried every one of these out here, variety, different variety. That's the cat face right here. Me and Daniel ate one while ago up yonder, all the way right. It was good. Yes. Might be ugly, but it was good. So we'll just pick this one. Green's but good, you know? I don't want to let go. Alright. Is that all of them? Nope. Yeah. Yeah, that one's still up. Okay, we're going in the kitchen. And uh, what we're going to do here, we're going to make salsa out of these here. It's about two days worth of tomatoes here picking. And that's a mix with uh, beef steak, Amish coli, and there's probably a, one or two Italian in there. So, these over here, we got to weigh these up, get them cleaned up, and these are going to be marked down in the book for shed wars. And uh, over here is the brown. I'm rushing, keep coming. We can pick them like this, leave them in the house a couple days, and they turn like this. They turn brown on their own. Oh, but there's no difference in taste from a straight eight and this. The, I mean, they are really, really good cucumbers. So, probably make a few sweet pickles out of that. These over here, they went ahead and cut this branch off because they wasn't looking too good. So, we're going to fry them up and make some fried green tomatoes out of those. Oh. And then we got some kale over here, some dinosaur kale. So we're going to get this washed up, blanch it, and freeze it and get it put up. But we need to weigh it too for shed wars. Tomatoes in the window, we're just, those are just for tomatoes in the window, we're just, those are just for our own personal eating. And that's it for right now, so we're going to get this going and see what we got.